Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and I just got out of the Yokai Watch movie, and uh, I guess normally this would be like a midnight screening video, but this is more like a midday screening video, because it's like, it's like 1 o'clock uh, p.m. out here, so it's, it's the middle of the day, as you can see behind me, but, uh, um, so this is going to be kind of an interesting talk about the movie, just spoiler alert going in, the movie's plot is basically the plot of Yokai Watch 2, so if you don't want that spoiled, uh, I'll try to avoid spoilers when I can, but I'm going to throw that warning out there, so, um, by the time I get there, there actually, there were actually a lot of kids there, I was kind of surprised, there, there weren't, there didn't seem to be many people in the niche audience, it was mostly kids and their parents, I'm guessing that, uh, the people around here, most of the niche audience probably went to New York, because they were having, uh, actually a fairly large event, going on in New York City, so I, it wouldn't surprise me if they were there. So I get to the movie about 20 minutes before it starts, and they're basically streaming the YouTube channel for Yokai Watch, streaming all the videos about what are yokai and, and stuff like that, um, rather than the normal movie trailers to, I guess, get everybody ready. So, of course, while that's going on, the group that organized the event had a trailer come up in the middle to say, oh, other events that we're having, because this is a, a small showing. A small showing is... Uh, a small release is when a movie only appears in a few theaters for maybe a few showings. Like, believe it or not, all of the Barbie movies have showings like that. So anyway, they were going to talk about another movie it was going to be about. So of course, they talk about a movie about AIDS. Because that's exactly the sort of trailer you put right before a cartoony kids movie, right? Um... So then the movie begins, and it says, um, as you might know, did you know that yokai are everywhere? And I'm like, yes, you just spent the past 30 minutes telling me about how yokai are everywhere. So um, the movie, for the most part, has a really irreverent tone to it. I've seen it in Japanese, so if you've seen it in Japanese, they actually don't seem to have changed much, but they did kind of tone down how serious it was supposed to be. I mean, the Yokai Watch movie was already kind of irreverent, but they really kind of tried to take it up to 11 on this. Like, there's a lot of jokes, a lot of, lot of, uh, fourth wall, uh, fourth wall, uh, elbow jabs and, uh, stuff like that. They, they, they changed a lot of things. Like, Master Nyada, when he showed up, Master Nyada is supposed to be a satire of Master Yoda, but instead they gave him a Jewish accent to instead make him sound like yogurt from Spaceballs to kind of iron home that, hey, this is a satire, you're not supposed to take that seriously. Although, that, that does kind of get into trouble when we learn the villain's tragic motive, and they immediately follow it afterwards with an incredibly fourth-wall-breaking comment about how there has to be a big CG monster at the end to make everything exciting. Um, but for the most part, the, the movie, the, the dubbing, you, you can see on the list that there are a lot of voice actors reprising their roles. A, a lot of voice actors doing many, many roles, like, uh, Johnny Young Bosch, I think, did at least seven. So a lot of, a lot of role reprisal. It was, it was definitely a dub that was done on a bit of a budget, although maybe I should be happy that they didn't try to bring in a bunch of celebrity names just for the sake of having a bunch of celebrity names, but it might have been nice. The Japanese version did that. The main villain is voiced by uh, a Japanese celebrity, which was kind of interesting, although the dub, uh, the, the dub for, uh, for uh, the villain is actually pretty good. It's, it's, it's very hammy. It, it's not too bad at all. The problem is the movie suffers from a bit of timing. The Yokai Watch movie in Japanese is not a terribly good movie, and the fact that they had to subject it to the clumsy English dub didn't help too much. I mean, there's lots of jokes that were were funny, like like um, Nate gets to like where they're holding Jibanyan prisoner, and Jibanyan's like the stereotypical slowly being lowered into a pit of molten metal or something like that. That 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 stereotypically slow lowering in, so they immediately get there, and what Nate does is he immediately goes and shuts off the machine, and the villain gets really mad, and is like, get away from there, only, only a licensed professional should be allowed to operate heavy machinery, and that's funny, but it was, it was timed a bit, timed a bit weird, it's, um, honestly, a lot of parents at this point in the movie, the climax of the movie, they were, they were checking their phones, it was, it was, I mean, it was kind of hard to find serious laughs. I mean, when there was some, the Star Wars references with Master Nyada, that got some laughs, but otherwise, not 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 too many not too many big laughs going on. Although, like I said, it's it's because the source material wasn't terribly fantastic, and then it got a dub. I've said that too many times, but um, so after the movie is over. They kept in the full the full dance sequence. They they did start the movie with like a dubstep version of the Swampy Marsh theme, 
but they ended the movie with the the Gary Garipo medley that was in the original. But after that, they had the Unchikuma slash Poofessor segment from the regular show. I'm guessing it was cut from the television for obvious reasons because it involves a bear eating poop. Although, funny thing, in the movie, they left in the one scene that I thought they were going to remove where the villain literally turns around and expels a demon. They actually made that a selling point in the trailer of the movie. They left that whole thing in unadulterated. So if if you really want to see a villain shove a demon out of there, you know, then you will not be disappointed. Um, but the Poofessor episode, they, they're talking about, let me drop a deuce on your head. I guess it, it's, it's, it's little, it's Unchikuma's uh, slash Poofessor's little, little trivia, little trivia nuggets. I'm surprised they didn't call them that. Um, <laughs> but uh, the, the parents at the end seemed kind of repulsed by that episode, so that's probably why it didn't make it to air, although did we really need to see it in theaters? Thank you very much. But um, it, it does actually do a decent job of feeling fairly irreverent in English. Um, so I don't know if it's a movie experience, but if you catch it on TV and they don't alter it, or if you see, like like it on Netflix or something. If they've put it on there, give it a watch in English. It's it's worth it. It might be better in a smaller group where you don't feel guilty laughing at the jokes. Um, so, I mean, I mean, I'm a big fan of watching movies in a group. Like, if somebody's live streaming a Pokemon movie, I'm all over that because the chat room, everybody's joking together. That's fantastic. But in this case, I don't think it really, uh, it really uh, cuts the mustard. This movie was not better in a group. I mean, I did have a couple people recognize me, which is kind of cool. I mean, I'm no Abdallah, but that was still kind of fun. I passed out some QR codes. I showed off the, I showed off the U. It was, it was fun. Um, at least partially. The parents didn't seem too scared of me. Although I know the way I look, I'm a frightening person. Um, but yeah, Hasbro sent me out here to watch it. I forgot to, forgot to mention that, but like I said, if you can catch it at home, if you can catch it on a stream or on DVD or something, that's probably a better way to watch this film. Um, watch it in both Japanese and English. The English version has kind of a nice dub. Like I said, they made Master Nyada sound like Mel Brooks, which is actually actually quite a thing to hear. It's it's not what you're expecting at all. Um, it's, it's actually pretty well done, too. There, there are so many things in this movie that I want to like, but it just it's it's not the best presentation and it's not the best source material but 